Hey cave guys and cave gals, I hope everyone is doing phenomenal out there and having a great day. And I'm going to share with you guys today a creative and fun way to mine Ravencoin and what I'm thinking could possibly be the most profitable way to mine Ravencoin. After years of disappointment with get rich quick schemes, I know I'm going to get rich with this scheme and quick. I want you guys to stick around in this video. Uh, to the very end because we're going to be announcing the winner of the 500 raven coin giveaway as you guys saw on our last video uh, we were working with minerpool.org to uh, provide or give away uh, 500 raven coin for those who mined on minerpool.org for three hours so we'll do a random comment picker and see who won that i've had a lot of great comments over the last couple weeks in some of my videos People suggesting out there different ways to mine Ravencoin and their thoughts on uh, profitability, right? Because we were solo mining Ravencoin and we we're doing some pool mining. Someone suggested to use unminable. Now the concept of that is uh, essentially we'll be choosing Ethereum or Ethash as uh, a means to mine uh, our cards using the algorithm. And then once it mines out and we get paid out, it'll actually send the amount that we've mined uh, via Ethereum, it will convert that automatically into Ravencoin and pump that right over to our Ravencoin wallet. So I'm thinking this could be a really lucrative way. And also having that thought beyond uh, the having coming up in January, that is another way to get around mining Ravencoin directly because you could still mine Ethereum and then get paid out in that value via Ravencoin. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not telling everybody to go ahead and do this. It's not financial advice. It is a creative and interesting way to mine Ravencoin. So we're going to give that a shot. We're going to go ahead and get up in the laptop upstairs. Okay guys, so we've jumped into the laptop upstairs and the first thing we're going to do is go jump into Unminable. So I want to show you guys how we can actually um, mine Ravencoin in the most profitable way versus mining it outright. And I'll actually do a comparison to show you that. But first things first, uh, we'll go back to the, um, I guess the landing page of Unminable. And on here, you'll see a offering of different coins. Uh, the one that we want is Raven coin. So we're going to scroll down and look for that and click Raven coin RVN. And uh, essentially what it's going to do is have you download a few different miners, depending upon what kind of card you have. So we're running an Nvidia card. So I recommend those um, running Nvidia to run T-Rex. And potentially those with AMD cards to run NB Miner, uh, Phoenix Miner. I would not recommend Lull Miner. Uh, can work for either Nvidia or AMD. But uh, for the sake of um, testing, we're going to use T-Rex. And once you extract your folder, we've already preset and pre-done that already. So we've called it unmine.raven and I'm using the batch file for ethermine um, just because it's just easy to remember. And uh, once you extract that, um, we're going to kind of push this window off to the side here so we can compare uh, notes. You want to edit that batch file and the first thing you're going to look to do is um, edit it to where you're going to add the global unminable server which is ethash.unminable.com port 3333 so uh, make sure you have that plugged in which you can see uh, we have the server there um, and then you're going to do a space dash uh, u space you need to have the algorithm of the coin that you want to mine which is raven and then semicolon and your raven address uh, plugged in there and then space minus p space x for if you want to put a password in um, and then space dash w for worker and then put in your worker name so uh, that's kind of how we have this set up and um, we're going to go ahead and kick that mining off right now so we can see 
what happens here live. I'm actually going to overclock. We might get a little bit of fan noise from the laptop to uh, to push this up. But uh, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm not going to play around too much with this. We'll just do a minus one, 200, and then we'll crank this thing all the way up to, uh, I'll just say 13, 16 for now. And we'll see what we get for Mega Hash. And then I would like to compare to see kind of roughly what that should make us profitability wise. And then we'll do a comparison of what this card uh, would get mining raw Ethereum. Now, just so you know, the laptop that we're using is using a R an RTX 2070 Max-Q. So it is a mobile uh, GPU. So it doesn't get the full hash rate if we were normally uh, mining off of a regular desktop card. But it's pretty powerful. It, it you know, for, uh, for a laptop, it does. Well, what I needed to do, I don't tend to really beat on this thing um, uh, too much, but uh, you know, if you want to mine on it, it can mine. So let's just see here if it ramps up. We got 33.82. Uh, I might need to kick the fan on here just to get this thing cooled down a little bit. We can see the temperature is going up to uh, 68C. Uh, I'm going to wait for the next hash rate. And watch we're gonna watch this uh, yeah it's getting a little getting a little toasty now uh, so let's go ahead and kick on the fan and see if we can get a little bit higher of a hash rate I was aiming to get probably around the 36 mega hash range that would probably be uh, right in line of what we were mining before on the ethereum algorithm uh, we'll wait to see if that actually does happen. So it's ramping up here, cooling down. Uh, we'll just go ahead and pre-key in 36 mega hash on the profitability as we're waiting there. So roughly that would get, if we can achieve that hash rate, which I think we can, I might just need to kind of mess with um, some of the overclocks there a little bit, but we should be able to achieve just over 24 um raven coin a day um on that set and you could see at yeah, 34.05 we'll we'll revisit that as as we go uh here in just a second so we'll just do some quick math so we'll say 24.30 times 0 0.08 which is the value today so just shy of two dollars one dollar and 94 or 95 cents give or take and uh yeah so that's basically if we were to continue to mine on this um that's probably what we would make uh, in a day which isn't too bad now i want to just copy this address and we're going to maximize here we're going to plug in our raven coin address just so i can show you the interface if you want to be able to track the hash rate and uh and uh kind of the the life of the worker uh that'll allow you to do that and you can see that um it'll pay you out every 12 hours if the balance is over 50 raven coins so that's just something to note and you can set up auto pay on that if if you want as well so just kind of pretty pretty helpful there so you could see based off of what we were uh, looking at, um, roughly it would take us two days to get the payout. So every about every two days or just uh, just over two days or over 48 hours to get that payout. Uh, you can see the hash rates ramping up there. Now, if we want to compare that with, um, and I'm going to cut the fans here a little bit so we can hear what we're doing. If we were to mine uh, Ravencoin on this laptop raw out, we would be getting about 16 mega hash uh, on Kapow, uh, 80 watts in the software, not quite at the wall, but you get the idea. And yeah, if we scroll down to Ravencoin based off of that, we would be making just after the cost of electricity, uh, after the cost of electricity, $1 and three cents a day and the quantity or the yield of Ravencoin based off of that would be 16.20 uh, 
Raven coin. So that's almost, you know, that's about, you know, almost 10 Raven coin a day difference. Um, clearly, it's more profitable to mine using unminable uh, on that. So as I mentioned before, we know that once we hit January, January 11th, the rewards are going to be halved. So uh, we're going to lose a little bit of, I guess, you know, reward power when we're mining Raven coin. Hopefully, as they said, the profitability will go up um, after Jan uh, the value of the coin rather will go up. Okay, so you can see here we've got a hash rate of 36.38 and um, we're going to go ahead and just plug that into unminable here to see what we make. And that's still about 24 point 37 raven coin a day so not too bad based off of that hash rate uh, i want to uh transition over now and um uh look at the giveaway that we did in our last video as you know we teamed up with minorpool.org to do a giveaway of uh 500 uh, raven coin we're gonna go ahead into the uh, random comment picker and we're gonna go ahead and choose the uh, the winner we're gonna go ahead and plug in our YouTube address here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and filter out the duplicates let's go ahead and see uh, what we've got here so about 45 uh, comments there but we're gonna go ahead and plug in our keyword which is avocado so we've got 25 uh, unique comments based off of that so let's go ahead and hit the uh, the find the comments here and uh, see who we can get for the winner. Drum roll, please. And let's hit the start button. And we've got a winner of Danny Boro. Okay, so it says I like avocado, and uh, he submitted within the date and time of the. Um, uh, contest so all looks good there uh, mm -hmm. we will go ahead and copy his Ravencoin address we have the export from the Google sheet so there is his Ravencoin address so we'll now go ahead and see if we can cross-reference that with the minorpool.org because we need to make sure that he's mined for over three hours that was the deal um, that was the agreement that we reached so we're going to go ahead and paste it in it shows up there he is and yeah so he's mined for definitely for over three hours there so uh yeah excellent danny boro we're going to go ahead and send you over the 500 raven it looks like you have some uh stuff in there uh, paid and a couple of things that are unpaid and it looks like you could still be mining as well so Good stuff, Danny, and appreciate you for uh, participating, and I appreciate the rest of you guys for participating as well. And um, I will promise to send that immediately after this video over to your Raven and Coin address, and no worries. And if you have any issues, feel free to uh, reply back to my comment on the uh, video in the previous video um if you had any issues with that uh transaction but i think you should be in pretty good shape so uh with that said guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the video here uh, i hope you all enjoyed this uh, giveaway and i hope you enjoyed the comparison of uh, mining raven coin straight up versus unminable and uh, yeah hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button so we can do more fun content and more fun giveaways in the future and with that all being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll see you next time. Take care.